Hey guys, this is Peter, and if you've been watching my channel at all, you know that I have 5G home internet. I've been very happy with it, but a uh, happy accident happened, and I just think I made 5G faster for everybody. I'm talking for Verizon, for AT&T, and T-Mobile customers, and it all came down to a happy accident while testing something else. I've been testing out one of the fastest routers I've ever tested, and every once in a while I've been testing it for four months waiting to go and put a review on it because you know I was just tempted to but then it would have a little glitch and it was exploring that glitch with the engineers over there that led to this epiphany you know they said to me what you're seeing we just haven't seen this glitch this hiccup happen with anybody else we've been testing this extensively they're like do you have weird internet and it was all through email and it made me think I do have weird internet. I have 5G home internet, and uh, I've been very happy with it, etc. But maybe there's something different about 5G than than normal packets. So I started digging into what's special about 5G packets, and guess what? I learned that no matter who you have, you have different packet sizes. AT&T, they're 1420. With standard Ethernet is 1500. Verizon, it's uh, 1428. And guess what? T-Mobile is 1420 as well. So I did some investigation there and I thought, huh, you know, that makes sense. If I'm going to ping a server and I'm going to send 1500 bytes and the car can only fit 420 people, <laughs> right? Or 1400 people. It's going to have to send two cars. That's not efficient. So what if I were to shape these packets before I put them out on the, the internet, this telco internet? Well, guess what? It cracked everything wide open. So here's what I've done in my past. If you haven't seen my channel before, I do have 5G. I've been very happy with it. I've had it for six months. I uh, went through pros and cons. I've told you that this was a very good modem, but a terrible access point, and that's a gateway. So, uh, you know, you want to put this somewhere in your house that you get good 5G signal, but you also want to optimize your signal for Wi-Fi. It's really hard to do both. Uh, I've taken it apart. I put different antennas in it so I can put it where I want it. I ended up just turning off all of its access point features and allowing somebody that really knows what they're doing, do it. This is an access point. It's by Dynalink. It is 802.11ax, much like the access point that I had was. It's also MIMO, but this one has a Snapdragon in it. This one can handle 200 devices. It doesn't get hot. Uh, check this out. I'm going to go ahead and log into it for you. And here it is. As you can see, I'm running my entire house on it. I have 22 devices on it right now. Look, even everything, including my ring doorbells on there, everything's on there. So uh, it has some wonderful features. This is a, take a look at that review. because so that's a really good review. I think you got to buy one of these because it is a very good network. Uh, so here we go. Wireless, uh, or sorry, <laughs> the wide area network. Uh, it lets me set this MTV, uh, MTU value. So the maximum transfer unit or the maximum packet size. I set it up special for telco. Here you go again. If you have AT&T, put in 1420, just like I did for T-Mobile. If you have Verizon, put in 1428. So now you're shaping your packets before you put them out on the network. And that all sounds fine and dandy. But here's the scores I was getting in the past. You know, I was getting my 600s with 29 ping. And it was, you know, time of day related. Check this out. I'm getting a ping that's going to be twice as good as that. Boom. Pings are important if you're playing games. People know that. Well, ah, there it is. Let's do the speed test right now. I'm going to get a really nice ping. Bing, 17 ping. That's really nice. And look at these speeds. Come on. Get up there. Ah, someone's probably doing, someone's downloading something inside. I should be getting 600, 700. But, uh, and I do all day long. And I need to get about uh, 140, 130 up. Yeah. Really good speeds. This is unlocked it. It's the packet size. We've been treating these as standard internet packets and they're not. So guess what? When your packet size is actually smaller than the data packets you're sending, you have to send two for every packet you send. So that was messing things up. This is much better speeds and a much better ping. Again, boom, let's do it again. Ping me. 215 ping, come on. Now, for a gamer, if anything under 30, you're going to be okay. Anything under 20, you're thrilled. 
and 15 is downright respectable and over telco again this is unlimited so for 50 bucks a month from t-mobile i've got unlimited internet now it came with this little device that is a decent modem once again uh so turn it treat it like a modem i went in and i turned off uh i have really good bands by the way b2 and n41 i have a whole thing on that and i show you how you can see what bands you're getting and you know what you want to be getting but uh i think this was the big epiphany is going in and getting it a better signal but also on top of that going ahead and forming your packets with this has been excellent so i went ahead and turned off it's for it's 2.4 gigahertz i've turned off it's five gigahertz it's a modem only not asking it to do anything else so i bring it into this device and say you serve the rest of my house and it's doing just that it's able to take every packet that all of my devices create and form them into this way, into 1,420 bytes. And guess what? Everything just works so much better. Anyway, guys, nice little happy accident led to a really nice uh, uh, find. This is a great router. You should grab one. I can't believe this is 99 bucks. This is a fantastic router. It covers everything really well. I think they even have an option. I'm gonna. I wrote to them and said, "Send me the option to allow me to net uh, to um, mesh this, because I think they have mesh units that go with this." So, uh, absolutely, that would be fantastic. But it is far-reaching. It runs super cool. It supports more devices, and guess what? It made T-Mobile even faster. Anyway, guys, there you go. Hey, thanks for watching. Um, ask questions. I learn from you guys all the time when we ask questions. And uh, hey, always push the envelope. Sometimes when you bang your head against the wall long enough, the wall will give way. <laughs> and that's exactly what happened this time. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Give this a like and subscribe if you haven't subscribed. And we'll see you in the next one. Talk to you soon.